Hello guys, it is Emmett, and today I'm doing a 9 month on testosterone update. Okay, to be fair, it's like 9 months and 3 days, but that's close enough that I'm still gonna call it 9 months. Um, so, I'm just gonna talk about some good things, some bad things, the changes that I've had. Um, you know, just general update video stuff. Okay, so, the biggest change that I've had is my facial hair. Um, you probably can't see it, maybe if I come a little closer. How's that? You can kind of see it now. A little bit. Sort of. Uh, but I will say I don't know how much of that I can actually uh, attribute to testosterone itself because I have been using minoxidil. But I do feel like the testosterone has really uh, helped with that. Um, because I have more body hair, like specifically like on my stomach. Uh, my leg hair is... A whole lot more than I had before like it's up on my thighs and everything thankfully I don't really have back hair uh, so that's pretty rad um, the hair on my arms hasn't really done anything uh, still have pretty bald arms <laughs> um, it looks like I have a huge Adam's apple now so that's a creepy swallowing move but uh, so that's something I guess um, let's see what else uh, I feel like um, like, my chest is smaller, um, like, I still, like, have to wear a binder, but I do feel like it's smaller. I've actually went down a binder size, which is pretty, uh, rad. I feel like maybe I've put on a little more muscle. I feel like my shoulders are a little bit broader. Um, I feel like, like, right here is more muscular. Um, uh, I feel like my arms maybe are a little more muscular than they were before, um, Still not particularly muscular, but like it's more than I had before, so I'll consider that a win. Big thing, um, and I think I've probably talked about this before, maybe not, I'm not sure. Uh, but my, like the shark week is completely gone. It has been since about, uh, six months-ish. Uh, so hopefully I never have to deal with that again, ever, ever, ever. Um... So that's probably one of my favorite things that has happened other than my weird little baby scruff. I am going to be honest with you, though, guys. Um, I am really disappointed in myself and the progress that I've made. I feel like um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you've probably heard me talk about this. Uh, my dose was way, way, way too low from the time I started hormones up until about six months on testosterone, six or seven months. Um, so I feel like I'm spending a lot of time playing catch-up, um, where I'm at right now, I feel like is, like, comparable to people that are, like, four or five months on testosterone, um, as opposed to nine months, uh, and I feel like I'm behind, um, I feel like I haven't had, uh, the changes that everyone else has had by this point, um, and I think the biggest thing that sort of gives that away is my voice. My voice has not changed any since my seven and a half month update. And it hasn't really changed all that much from like my five month update either. Uh, it's different than when I was pre-T, but it's not nearly as deep as I'd hoped it would be. And honestly, I... I feel just as bad about my voice right now as I did when I was pre-T. I feel just as bad about, like, myself now as I did when I was pre-T. Because I'm not... I feel like I'm not where I should be. And, you know, hopefully... It's just a thing where my dose was so off and I'm just been playing catch up for the past couple of months and I'll see that really big voice drop that I should have had already and I'll sound like the way that I'm supposed to as opposed to this because I'm legitimately terrified that this is just what I'm going to sound like. I'm terrified that my voice is not going to change any more than it already has and I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. Maybe maybe it'll be completely different when I do my 10-month update or my 11th-month update or my one-year update, you know? But 
it's just where I am right now, I can feel that one year, like, looming over me. And, like, I'm not excited about it. I'm dreading it because I am afraid that I'm not going to be as far along as I think I should be by that point. So, I'm probably going to make a video sort of talking about how I personally feel about that one year mark and how it seems to be like, other than top surgery, that's like the biggest milestone that we all hold super, super high up on a pedestal. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about it maybe and we'll see where I'm at. So, okay, so that is my nine month on T update video. Uh, I'm sorry that we got kind of, uh, not exciting near the end there, but, like, I want to keep things honest, I want to be honest about my thoughts and my feelings, and I want to show people that you may not be in the same place as someone else that's been on testosterone for as long as you have. People change differently. Some people have more changes than others or have them quicker than others and see things happen sooner than others. And, you know, everybody has their own path to follow. And I want to be honest about my path, even if I'm not entirely happy about it. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Uh, please comment, subscribe, uh, whatever, interact with me on Instagram. I'll have the link to that down below. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them if you have anything you want me to talk about. If there are any uh, video topics that you'd like me to cover, um, I'm in the process of working on something right now. It's not trans related, but I think it could be really fun. Uh, so hopefully you guys like that. Uh, be on the watch for that over the next uh, week or so. And I will see you guys later.